Stone University program amongst meteorologists and local companies in need of forecasters is coming to an end. The University of Wisconsin Milwaukee says the decision to end the program comes from rising costs and a decline in funding. Our Megan Lee joins us live now here in the studio with more on this story. Hi, Megan. That's exactly it, Susan. After 17 years of operation, the innovative weather program has to shut down because of the lack of funding. I'm told this is a disappointing decision. More clouds this evening as we keep dry into the overnight, falling back near 60. Alex Bukvich only has about eight more months of forecasting in the Innovative Weather Center at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. He went through the program as a student and now serves as the director of operations. It was very frustrating to see this fantastic program uh, in the position it is now coming to an end after uh, myself and many others, Paul Rober, Mike Wessendorf, have done uh, an unbelievable amount of work fighting uphill for so long. The Innovative Weather Center was founded back in 2007 by Professor Paul Rober. However, due to budget cuts, the office will close its doors on April 30th. It's, it's given me so much and we've been able to give to so many students. It's disappointing that we can no longer continue, continue to do so. A spokesperson with UWM says the innovative weather budget was estimated to grow to $220,000 in the next two years due to increasing costs and declining funding caused the very difficult decision to discontinue the program, a program that gives real world experience to atmospheric science students. We are a paid forecasting internship for our students. So we give these students the opportunity to get paid and work as meteorologists and it means that we place our alumni extremely successfully. Alumni like our very own chief meteorologist Brian Niznanski. The program wasn't around when he was attending UWM, but he knows the importance. To get real life experience in any job field is super important. Uh, for weather, it's just really hard to come by to get that experience. Students working at Innovative Weather forecast for many big companies and local municipalities. These students benefit greatly from this program and by them benefiting, I believe it also benefits our community to have a workforce that's ready to hit the ground running. Alex says although the program is ending, the memories and success stories will always remain alive. To leave a legacy from Innovative Weather to say that we've made an impact, and even if we don't exist now, we have been, we have made a difference. Hmm. Hmm. Difference. That was like the thing that yeah. really stuck out to me today. And Brian Nisnansky is here sure. too as we yeah. talk a little bit more about this. What do you guys think this does for the future, for like the future Brian Nisnansky? Well, well, you know, honestly, like, and I mean, just as other fields as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I found myself as a student at UW Milwaukee just before Innovative Weather. weather. And it was how do you get that real life experience uh, of working in a business environment? And for me, it was here at TMJ4 with John Milan, but right. he only was able to take on like two students. Right. Um, the program's a lot bigger than that. So my hope is, and I'm rambling here, my hope is there, way to, there, there is a way to give those students that real-time experience. Maybe they have to do away with the pay part of it, but maybe yeah. they keep that experience going. Definitely. Alex, real quick, he said that um, all the students that are there right now, he's just trying to give them training and yeah. training and training until April 30th. He's hoping to impact as many lives as he can before. So, oh, Megan, so it's, interesting. Thank mm -hmm. you. Real quick, it's, a, it's definitely a, a, a budgetary. <laughs> you're very passionate yeah. about this. It's a budgetary issue, yeah. which I, is way over what I got. Yeah. But here I am to say there is a huge benefit to it. And there's a need yes. as yeah. well. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you both. Thank you both.